What is up my pleasure babies? Welcome back to another episode where we are going to be covering the 12 most sexiest things that a man can do for his woman in bed. And I'm telling you, women crave this type of behavior. We crave this act. This is what's going to set you apart from majority of men out there because truth is a lot of guys are just out here doing one of these things or a few of these things. They're only doing it sometimes. But you my friend are going to have the up hand because you're going to know all 12 of these things that women secretly crave in the bedroom and I'm just going to spill the beans right here right now. So if you're ready to be that guy that she begs for and that she craves then get ready because I'm about to give you the golden ticket. And to kick it off we're going to start with eye contact. Now when it comes to eye contact in the bedroom people can either be really shifty or a lot of the time men like to give pleasure with their eyes closed. However what turns a woman on most is that eye contact. You want to show them that you love watching them be in pleasure. As you're eating them out, as you're kissing their body, make that eye contact. Kiss, pull away. I want to see your eyes. Look at me. Be present with me. Women love when they can tell that you are present in the moment. Obviously, I have had some weird eye contact in the past where it's like a man is like aggressively staring into my soul. I'm like, hey, yo, like what's happening? Because there is a comfortable amount. You know, when she is looking into your eyes and you are looking into her eyes and it just locks and it feels good. But the good thing about a man is that a man can assert his confidence and his dominance with his eye contact. Our second thing that is going to drive her absolutely crazy. And that is taking control. Women love a man that can lead. We love a man with a sense of direction, somebody who can take control, move our body in the way that they want it in the way that they know that feels good for us. We want you to come into the bedroom and know exactly how to run the show and exactly what to do. That doesn't mean you're running a you, you, you party, but you're incorporating also what your partner likes and needs and wants in the bedroom too. And you've planned for it. So have that plan ready and execute it with confidence. Now this third tip you guys are probably already doing. However, you're underestimating the amount of time that needs to be spent in these areas because women love a buildup. We like to be teased and stimulating these erogenous zones is definitely something that can help your woman crave you way more. I'm talking about those neck kisses, those ear nibbles, sucking on the ear lobe, kissing their way down their body, touching their lower body, caressing their inner thighs, stimulating those erogenous zones for more than a minute. As soon as those titties come out or the men see the boot hole or the vulva, you guys like lose all track of everything else and you go right to those target zones, which is okay in some cases, but if you're wanting to build up that anticipation and make your woman crave you, then you need to start stimulating those erogenous zones and playing with the tease game a little bit better. Now I think a lot of women are actually going to agree with this next tip. There is nothing that beats a man undressing you and not struggling. You should be able to undress us with confidence. Obviously, I don't feel like I need to say this, but I'll, I think I do need to say this because even though it's 2024, the lines get blurred and people mess this up all the time. Consent is key in all of these things in all of my videos. If you do not get a yes, it's a no. If it's not a full body F yes for her, it's a no for everybody involved, okay? But once you get the green light and things are getting spicy, undress her. That's a really great way of showing us that you want us right now and you're willing to do whatever it takes and that you're confident. The fifth tip that I have for you guys is to actually delay the lip kisses. So instead of going right for the lips, to go around them. So you're probably sitting there thinking, what do you mean, Miranda? How am I supposed to get her to the bedroom or get her to the place where she wants to sleep with me if I'm not kissing her lips? Well, obviously you're probably gonna be kissing initially, but then when you make it to the point of foreplay, let's say a little bit more of the advanced foreplay, you're going to pull back and actually not kiss her lips, but kiss around her body, kiss her breasts, her neck, her inner thighs, stimulate those erogenous zones like I had talked about prior, but do that with your lips and then tease her by kissing her cheek, maybe licking her lips or just hovering over top of them, but not actually giving her those deep 
passionate kisses. Hold off on those because I guarantee she's gonna wanna grab your face and pull you in. <laughs> the sixth tip that I have for you is definitely a skill and you have to practice it. I mean, like I'm practicing it all the time. I absolutely love it. When a guy can dirty talk, okay, like let's freaking go because I love dirty talk and I know tons of women love dirty talk too because nobody wants a silent bedroom. I want to hear you guys make some noise, grunt, moan, groan, talk to me, show me that you're enjoying what you are doing. Maybe it's just something as simple as telling her, I love the way you taste, baby. You look so sexy right now. I love the way you feel when I'm inside of you. I can't wait to undress you. Then there's some rated R ones that I absolutely love that I think are bangers that I just can't say on majority of these platforms. <laughs> but the key to getting her wet is by talking to her. And the reason why I say practice is because sometimes we say some pretty crazy shit, okay? Sometimes we say something and we just need to laugh about it after. But I like practicing during like self-pleasure. I like practicing in the mirror sometimes. And the more that you say these absurd lines or these dirtier lines, the more confident you get when you do say them. So they land better for your partner. Like you don't wanna be coming across like, uh, babe, I. I, I, uh, I love how wet you are. <clears throat> yeah, like, no, I want you to say it, baby. I love how wet you get. Like, tell me, talk to me, moan for me. Everyone loves when a woman is moaning, but the women love when the men moan too. Give me some grunts. Now this next one is so underrated, but it's so, so, so sexy. And it's called the panty tease. Yes, sir. You are actually gonna leave those panties on because the more anticipation, the better because the wetter she's going to be. By the time you become assertive and confident and you rip those panties to the side, there's gonna be so much nectar in them. Everything is gonna be leaking and those beautiful, delicious juices will be right there for you to slurp up. It is the best feeling ever. Not only that, but you can also play with that anticipation of that dry hump, meaning you can glide and grind up and down those panties and not enter at all. And that is going to get her even more wet. She's going to have the take me now face or somebody's going to die. That is going to create that anticipation that is literally going to make her want to pull you inside of her. Trust me. Number eight, asking what we want and then doing it. There there is nothing like a man that can execute the plan. It's one thing to learn what she likes, but to actually be able to do it and listen, that's a whole nother skill set on its own. Because I've been there where I tell somebody, this is what I like and this is what I enjoy, and then they do what I think I should like, or they do what had worked on the past partner. It's like, I'm telling you what is working for me, and you're doing opposite, or you're not doing. It's like, what's the point of asking if you're not going to do it? So a man that can follow through with what he says he's going to do is so sexy. I'm telling you how to do it. You've asked me how to do it and then you're actually doing it. A man that listens to her without any judgment and is putting her pleasure first. Ooh, that is a man that I want. Ask her what her likes are, her dislikes, her fantasies. And if she doesn't know, explore together. Nothing is more hot than a man who wants to learn about his woman's pleasure and how to provide it. There's a gold star. This is being given right here. Good boy for my ones with the praise kink out there. Number nine. And this one's actually on the flip side of what we just talked about. You're actually going to tell us exactly what you're going to do or what you want us to do to you. There is nothing sexier than a man that can assert his dominance in a really, really hot way. Like, tell me what you want me to do to you. And it also kind of depends on how sub-like your partner is because, I mean, on this side, we can get pretty subby, but I can also be a brat too. Number 10. Now this one, I just feel like I need to say because I feel like a lot of people kind of like slack in this department. I'm just going to let you know that if you don't do it a lot or frequently, you're never going to get better and this is 
oral. Spend your time eating her out. If she loves oral or hell, if she even likes fingering, spend your time mastering that art. There is nothing sexier than a guy who takes their time making sure that their woman hits their pleasure first. After all, it takes more than three minutes to get your woman aroused for penetration. And trust me when I say a lot of the time when we're talking about a man being good in bed, of course, if he can thrust good, that's good. But nine times out of 10, we're talking about his foreplay game. If your foreplay game is freaking fire, you're good in bed. And that's a hard gold star to earn, especially if you're not with the same partner all the time. Because I'm just going to use me, for example. I am the pickiest person for oral. Like if you do one wrong thing in oral, I get like turned off immediately. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm, my body doesn't feel good. I either get overstimulated or I'm understimulated. It's a whole ADHD thing. So yeah, I'm on the spectrum. So it can be a little bit more difficult to please me. But the partners that I have had have taken that extra time to get to know and learn my body almost daily and weekly because it's forever changing, right? So the more that we ask those questions, the more attentive that we are to our partner, the more sexier we are going to be and the more that we are building and deepening that connection because it shows that they truly care about my pleasure and our pleasure. Now this next one is for those people that are solely aggressive kissers or just wanna make out all the time. There is nothing wrong with those gentle kisses. Those gentle Gentle kisses are perfect for the neck, perfect for the breast, perfect for the lips, just to let her know that you are there. Especially if you're thrusting deep and hard and then complimenting it with a gentle kiss. It's confusing, it's complex, and we love that. It's almost like that icy hot, like you're going hard, but then you're also kissing me soft. You're the perfect balance between Dom versus he loves me. It's very cute, it's very confusing, and it feels really good. So soften up those kisses. It's not always necessary for those deep, passionate ones. And finally, last but not least, use some toys. Lots of men are terrified of using toys. They're scared that their woman's going to fall in love with a toy over them. Well, like, I'm just going to be blatantly honest with you guys. Yeah, the toy can get her to climax almost like 99.9999999% of the time, but it's a machine. Okay, there's nothing that beats the warmth of your body. We operate as humans based off of connection. That toy stands nothing on you, but you with that toy is like your wingman everywhere you go. And the more adventurous you are, the more playful you are, are the more accepting you are of bringing these toys and these props into the bedroom, the sexier you are because you're not showing that you're insecure about this toy. You're showing that you're confident and that you want to give your woman pleasure. All right, babies, that is all that I have for you guys today. Those are just 12 things that women think are incredibly sexy in a man when they are in the bedroom. And I truly hope that helps you guys out, gives you some food for thought, and maybe you'll add more than just one of those in the bedroom and get that gold star. If you like my videos and you like my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I did launch my Moody merch hoodie, which is unisex, oversized, oversized, extra, extra, extra comfy. It's literally only like 30 bucks. Purchase it down below. All the profits go to me and funding my content creation that you guys all love and support. All right, babies. I will see you later in the week for another episode. Cheers.